Hi, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we're going to be doing a get her out. Alright, well, my buddy AJ has a FD3 RX7, so third generation RX7 that he's fixing up, and the water pump had a, a, a broken bolt in it. And so he asked me if we could take a look at it and get it, get it out. Not only was the bolt broken, but there was also an easy out broken off in the broken bolt. So um, believe it or not, it wasn't a terribly complicated fix to do. Um, throw it on the mill, use an undersized carbide uh, cutter. Broke some rules here and I, I chucked it rather than putting it in a collet. But uh, you know, run out was negligible and it was undersized enough. I wasn't too worried about it. Um, this is one of these, you know, get it done, get it out the door kind of jobs. So uh, let's take a look at that. You know, fixturing was pretty straightforward. It's got nice flat surfaces on here. Just clamp it in place. It's almost like just basically drilling it out. Um, once we did that, ran a, uh, an M6 tap through it. I didn't get video of running the tap through it, but I just cleaned up all, all three of the bolt holes. And so now we've got a nice, nice clean one. Uh, this is the one that it was broken off in. There is a small piece of the original bolt still in uh, in the bottom cavity of this. It's got um, a water jacket around this, so I, I couldn't go too deep in here, and basically when I was milling it, it, it broke free, screwed itself down into the bottom, into the relief for the threads. So there's plenty of, you know, there's plenty of room for the, the bolt to go in. Um, you might have to use a slightly shorter bolt, I don't know, but thread engagement's great, everything is good, and we're good to go. All right, we're uh, playing this back at uh, four times speed, but I just want to give you a little idea of what's going on. So first thing is I was trying to figure out a way to get this uh, clamped well uh, on the table, and you know I noticed that uh, I was having having a little rocking issues and things like that. Um, you know I ended up moving it around, but I probably should have put three clamps on this thing. Um, I know you know two is often sufficient. I wasn't doing anything heavy on, on this one. Um, it was more just to hold it in place and keep it uh, steady. There wasn't really an axial load on it, but uh, you know, I noticed as I was drilling uh, down into it that it, uh, it definitely moved on me a little bit. Next thing, don't do this. Yeah, I know, I got away with it. Uh, but I put, so I was using a, uh, a 3 16th three flute end mill in here. And this is a, um, the, the hole is actually an M6, so it gave me a little bit of, uh, of room. And then it's just lining it up. Uh, you'd be amazed how well you can line these things up visually. You can typically, if you've got a you know, decent eyesight, you can get in there. Um, I just, you know, going in, just gently, you know, pecking at it you know, where things were broken until I got a, a solid, you know, nice flat surface and I could see where things were going. Um, and I was pretty happy with it. I did, uh, once I cleared the chips, I did make a slight adjustment um, on the y-axis just to center up a little bit better. But again, I had plenty of room in here and everything was fine with that. I, so, you know, I wasn't too concerned about it, but, uh, you know, I had to get air, get in there, get it cleaned out. And uh, uh, overall, I think this part of it went really well. Um, so I'm pretty happy. All right, so uh, you know we were able to get that, uh, that that bolt out and get everything fixed up for AJ and, and things are good. Uh, deliver this thing tomorrow. Um, one thing, you know, just to reiterate, typically we wouldn't put an end mill in a chuck, right? So don't do that. Uh, fixturing on this one, I probably should have put another strap clamp on it. Um, I did notice a little bit of movement. Um, last thing uh, on all this one. Uh, you know, in general, if you're working with bolts that are in stuck aluminum, or, or, or it's in your, it's in an aluminum like this one is, um, you know, if you, if it's stuck like that, the first thing you should do, right, just take a hammer before you break anything off. Take a hammer and strike the bolt directly on the head, like straight in. Um, a lot of times, these threads they get just a little bit galled or they get a little bit tight uh, over time. And by that strike hitting it, you open it up just a hair, right? 
it breaks things free and oftentimes that will allow you to get the bolt out without twisting it and breaking it off part of it but just in general for everybody you know for your knowledge out there that's uh, uh just just a little you know little, uh, helpful bit of of information the last thing is I just want to say thanks to everybody. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. A special thanks to uh, to my Patreon subscribers. I really appreciate all the support that you guys give, uh, all the feedback. I got some local uh, Patreon subscribers as well, which is even cooler uh, to me because it's people that I, I will likely get a chance to to talk to in person and, and see. So that part's that part's kind of neat. But anyways. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you've got any comments, things like that, yeah, I know there were some things I did in this one that I typically wouldn't do, um, but uh, uh, leave them below. Uh, helpful hints, things like that, uh, things that you think other people might be interested in, please do. Uh, with that, we'll uh, call this one a wrap, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh, probably should, uh, for those of you who celebrate, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah, there's something th there are an awful lot of holidays that fall over the course of this time frame and uh, i just want to you know for whatever whatever holidays you you um you observe or if you don't observe any at all just enjoy some time uh spend some time with your family talk to you soon bye